Welcome to The Man in the Middle. I am your host, Bill West. Today we're starting on a new game called Paranoia. Happiness is mandatory based on the old, I believe it was West End Games of the uh, uh, mid to late 80s. I'm going to look it up real quick. I used to play this all the time with a group of friends who uh, we used to role play. There we go. Yeah, West End Games. That's why I thought. it was uh, first published in 1984, written by, designed and written by Greg Kostikian, Dan Gerber, and Eric Goldberg. And currently under uh, license by Mongoose Publishing. I used to play this all the time. <laughs> Paranoia was uh, great because the, uh, the dungeon master was actually uh, involved in it. You're, as, a, as a DM, your job was to uh, Yeah, as uh, come on. <coughs> okay. When you're done to back. You, you are actually trying to kill, as a computer, you are actually trying to kill your players. <laughs> so, you know, rather than just, you know, giving them, you know, choices and this and that, the other thing, you really were trying to, to kill them. Okay. Good day, Michael, citizen. You may be experiencing disorientation or memory loss. This is a normal side effect of the cloning process. Do not panic. Alpha Complex is a secure, safe, and clean environment. Failure to comply with security, safety, and mandatory hygiene regulations is punishable by termination. Your security clearance is red. You may not enter zones above red clearance. If you fail to comply with these regulations, you will be securely and safely terminated. If you are not happy, you will be adjusted. Only traitors are unhappy. I am your friend, the computer. Welcome to Alpha Complex. Welcome to Utopia. To proceed, please confirm. Are you happy, citizen? I'd be happy if the game was going. Yeah, I believe this takes place after, you know, World War Three. A bunch of survivors are in the Alpha Complex, which is uh, ran by computer, sort of a Logan's Run type situation. to play this and uh, came out a couple years after they took the pre-orders I thought I was gonna get uh, get it on uh, 
Xbox. What's a clone? I'm a clone. <laughs> Tell you what I tell everybody else. Just smile and nod and you'll do great. Right, let's get back to the mobility test. Correct answer. Anything about that? Okay. Now, right now, I'm using the num the keypad, the numbers on the uh, keyboard. So, mouse isn't really doing anything. Is it awesome? Can you shoot laser from your armpits? Because if it's something like web toes, you're probably going, <laughs> going for a trip in the incinerator. Really, it's for the betterment of everyone. I see. Use your left mouse to move your officers to anywhere you can see. Unless they are blocked by one or more doors, traders, piles of trash, or debris, they will casually jog to wherever you selected. You tell which officer is moving to which point due to the movement reticule that appears in the world. This contains a number, a number that corresponds to the number of the officer moving to that point. You can also find that number in the selection circle at your officer's feet or in the upper right hand corner of your officer's portrait of the team display. actually right mouse to move, not left. So. Citizen, how can I assist you? How do I use a hygiene boost? Okay, did that. Okay. And we're gonna go over here. Citizen, welcome to the Cortec room. This device will install your Cortec, a device that allows you to connect to Alpha Complex's network and also gives you a useful heads up display. When you're ready, please interact with the Cortec installation suite. So we're just going to go over here. Is this mandatory? Yes. <laughs> 
then you'll be able to sign your skills and points, which will allow you to increase your, your ability in certain areas like combat or persuasion each time you were cloned. You'll be able to assign your skill points in any way you choose. Uh, if you die, you have six, uh, five other clones, so... There are three attributes, each would have corresponding skills. The three attributes are brains, mechanical, and violence. Under your alpha book profile, you can navigate to each attribute and assign the points as you please. You must allocate all available skill points before exiting the skill point allocation menu. Now, take a seat when you're ready. You may ask any further questions when you're done. So, brains controls bureaucracy, procedure and psychology, mechanical is programming, engineering, craft, violence is melee, guns, and athletics. Come on, sit down. Ah, okay. There you go. Okay, so... How many points do we have? We have three points. Let's go with... We're going to take point in brains programming and procedure okay go to the clone quality assurance room box here. I like you know, most games. Before you embark on a mission, friend computer at the research and development department will assign you some equipment to assist you in carrying out your tasks. This can include weapons, armor, medical equipment, and various other useful and not at all volatile or dangerous accessories. You can open your team's inventory by pressing the I key or by clicking the little backpack icon on the bottom right hand of your hotbar. There we go. Make one again. Burn Lisa Rail, do not use this with laser weapon, that should look stupid. <laughs> Good stuff, right? Cold fun increases your brain's attribute by one for five minutes. Do you feel smarter? Not really. Great! Now time for another dexterity test. Be a good sport and throw that burned out laser barrel you just picked up to that spot marked on the other side of the room. Don't worry about getting an infraction for littering. The scrub bot will come out to clean it up. Those little rascals are always eating stuff off the floor. Just like you. You can throw items the same way you can use them by selecting them in your inventory pressing left mouse. Okay. Sometimes you'll need to pass items between trou troubleshooters under pressure. Thankfully, all troubleshooters are able to catch items thrown to them during combat, except grenades. Do not attempt under any circumstance to throw a grenade to a team member. Grenades are for exploding, not for catching. You can throw items directly from your inventory or from your hot bar by using left mouse and throw the and throw command. 
You will see an arc linking the troubleshooter throwing the, the item to the point where it will land. If you come across a hostile creature, it is possible that throwing food on the ground will attract its attention. And throw it there. There we go. And here comes the scrub bot. Good job, at least you got one good arm. Lucky you. Now, this isn't officially part of the test, but I'm sorry to tell you we've detected a, you have a mutation. Congratulations for commiserations. Both are applicable. Let's see what you got, eh? Use your uh, uh, mutation to clear a path through those tables right there in front of you. Some mutations target an area and others target a specific person or object. To use your mutation ability, select a little hotbar, then select your target and press. Looks like a uh, left box. With your through, assuming that your rotation is awesome enough to clear a path through our carefully placed obstacles, please report to your team leader in the canteen. I preemptively marked you down as having full control of your limbs. Red computer will be pleased. Have a good day, cycle. Friend computer has finally perfected the cloning process, and so it is no longer necessary to test for mutations. Nevertheless, clone quality assurance seems to have missed the memo about this. Probably because the most exciting part of clone QA is mutation testing. If there's one thing quality assurance testers love, it's things that go bang and things that work on the first try. Each time you are recloned, your mutation, well, mutates, and you will receive a different, super awesome, super illegal mutant power or a debilitating disease. Either one. Your mutations currently on record are telekinesis, power kinesis, reflection, regeneration, and shockwave. Okay. So we have telekinesis. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, we have to meet our leader in the cantina. We're in the canteen. Okay. Where am I? There I am. He says my team leader would be in the canteen. up here watching you. Always watching. Probably like 1984, Logan's Run. Sorry, are you the, uh, uh, wait, I have it written down here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Are you the loyal friend who has certain hard-to-find items that are also perfectly legal to trade? Shh, not here. Not so fast there, buddy. You got a faster to the soul leadership business I have here. Oh, so sorry. Let me... Forgot about that. Let me see. Ah, the scrub bot cleans at midnight, but the early trader gets the laser shot. Ah, close enough. Step into my office, kind sir. Well, I guess I found the team leader. Where am I? Where'd I go? Oh, there I am. And a nuclear hand grenade. I'll take two if you have them. Whoa, right now, you and me barely got a business relationship going on here. I could get you a bootleg rare code for a green laser barrel, but nuke grenades? Forget about it. 
Gosh, grand before I remember what other weapons I have on or about my person. Got it? Uh. Well, I say, that is the last time I ever approach him for some illicit. Wait, what are you doing here? Hello, you're the team leader, right? Sorry, what? Did somebody say illicit? Because I certainly did not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to, uh, there's a vitally important mission debriefing. Sorry, I'll ask. Slip past you here. Wait, Clone QA told me to report to you. Oh, right. Well done. Flying colors and all that, I imagine. Now, I mustn't be late for a debriefing. Cheers. But well, what should I do next? You're the team leader, right? Shouldn't you, uh, lead me? Oh, ghost. Ah. Fine, fine. Um, take this. When you return to your bunk, you'll find a nice, inconspicuous box. We call it the secret stash. At the end of the mission, they take your inventory, but they can't take what they don't know you have. Put this world of troubleshooters figure in there for me, would you? That's a good clone. Now, I really have to get going. I shouldn't leave friend computer waiting. Don't want to get terminated. Bye. Okay. I guess I should head to my bunk. Maybe I'll take a look around first. The infrared market dealer is a shady character who hangs out in cafeterias distributing illegal or stolen goods via hacked vendigos. You should not approach this individual under any circumstances. You should not purchase items from this individual under any circumstances. You should not allow this individual to invite you to brunch under any circumstances. Okay. Tired of, of only seeing your World of Troubleshooters character on the screen, now you can see it in reality, and no, it does nothing else. Ah, you have to turn, there you go. Well, I followed the instructions, it's out of my hands now. I guess I should go to bed, at least that's what my mission objective says. What a day cycle. Hey, sleepyhead, I was sent to come get you. We're doing the briefing room in five minutes. Say, Ben, say a happiness pill? Congrats on the promotion, by the way. Apparently, you got full marks in the clone quality assurance test. Who would have guessed? I have no idea what you're talking about. You're our new team leader. What? Yeah, the media officer ain't around no more. Poor dude. Or like, very bad dude. What happened? Friend computer fried him. It was pretty gross. I think he still might have. I might still have some of him on me. I should I should really visit the hygiene booth. Anyway, are you ready? Let's go. Okay. Before and after each new inciting mission, you will have a face-to-giant eye interaction with Grand Computer. Here you will be briefed on your upcoming mission and sub subsequently debriefed upon returning. Briefings and debriefings are held in the aptly named briefing room, which is home to a huge computer screen which displays certain computers ever loving and never intimidating anxiety inducing eye. 
Okay. Greetings, troubleshooters. Are you ready for your first exciting and heroic mission? Uh, troubleshooters unfit for duty will be broken down into a nutrient paste. Can you confirm that you are unable to perform so that we may begin the nutrient paste process? Understood. Proceeding with briefing. You have been identified as a citizen with high leadership potential. As a result, you have been assigned to lead a team of troubleshooters and placed on all appropriate watch lists in Alpha Complex. That information is classified. An infraction Oops. has been added to your record for attempting to access information beyond your clearance. Please refrain from independent thought to avoid being placed on additional watch lists. An assignment has been compiled for you. Out of all troubleshooter teams in Alpha Complex, you have been deemed most capable of fulfilling this mission. Your team was chosen as most appropriate for this mission due to your proximity. Out of all the troubleshooting teams currently functioning, yours has ranked highest in terms of proximity. Congratulations, troubleshooter. <laughs> We're the closest, okay. A maintenance team has gone missing in the sector's lower levels. They were carrying out testing for R&D's latest and important project. Your mission is to locate and terminate any traders responsible for interfering with approved R&D testing. You are required to attend a briefing with technicians in R&D before commencing this vital important assignment. Okay, we're gonna kiss a little ass. Troubleshooter, your enthusiasm is noted. Your preferences for menial and hazardous low clearance duties have been noted. Future duties will be assigned based on these preferences. Maybe that was not a good idea. Officers must follow your orders so long as they do not classify. Both you and your officers will submit to questioning upon return in order to reveal any treasonous activities while taking part in the mission. Remember, citizen, success is mandatory. Failure is treason. Happiness is also mandatory. Team leader, you may now nominate three officers to join you on your mission. Uh, but there are only three officers here. That is correct. Please pick three officers <laughs> from the three officers available. Okay. You have been assigned a vending code for your mission. Redeem this at your nearest vending machine. Troubleshooter team assembled. Commencing mission. Report to R&D for a fun and mandatory testing assignment. Remember, trust no one. Report everything. But most importantly, remain happy. Happiness is mandatory. Happiness is mandatory. Vending machines are scattered all over Alpha Complex and are the main method of distributing food, beverages, and copious amounts of behavior-enhancing pills to the population. You can access this one by approaching it, or you can access one by approaching it and using left... I think that's uh, right mouse. This will open the vending machine user interface, which has been streamlined for your convenience. Okay, so we have 88, uh, okay. Okay. 
I think I want to spend everything. So let's go to I. And oh, it's already equipped. So. Band-aids, got some pills. Laser rifle. Red laser barrel. Okay. So R and D, there it is. Ah, new test subject. How wonderful. I'm a troubleshooter, not a test subject. Now, now, you're not here to test my revolution. You're not here to test my revolution, new hair splitter. Ah, yes, a new prototype scrub bike. You see, we sent it down to the basement level to evaluate its hygiene systems. After reports of a large scale bouncy bubble spill, beverage spillage were filled or filed with the hygiene department. It appears to have gone missing in the middle of field testing, and we need to find it and bring it back to us. Sounds too easy. What's the catch? By catch, I assume you mean to say, what, an amazing, what amazing innovations have you applied to this device? It's, uh, it has our last sphere sim emulator installed. What's a sphere emulator? Well, it's a module that perfectly replicates the experience of crushing existential terror in a bot or home appliance. We made it by sampling the amyg amygdala of troubleshooter volunteers who underwent severe situations of or who underwent situations of extreme stress. Be happy you weren't around for those assignments. Why would you do that? Why not? <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's an old R&D joke we tell around here. Anyway, we figured that if the payload had a genuine fear of dirt, it would be more efficient. Studies shown that the threats are a better motivator than rewards or instructions. If you don't agree, you'll be terminated for questioning a superior officer. Ah, that's another R&D joke, right? Up you go. It's part of the lost payload back home. Could the fear emulator have caused some problem? Maybe it's hiding because it's scared and it didn't want to come back? Can you, can't you communicate with it? Well, that's why we fuel test these things, so we can calibrate fear of failure against fear of punishment for disobedience. Then we can't reach it or the original team because the basement has a reactor that shielding prevents the cloud system from working down there. Now off you go, and remember, not a scratch troubleshooter. Okay. So here we go. Two violations already. This is the elevator to the Alpha Complex basement sector. Ah, troubleshooters, fears, heavily armed, emotionally unstable, collateral damage. I might have mixed my pills because that scrub bot just talked. It was probably a pre-recorded message. Fears, social isolation, embarrassment through miscommunication, maintenance carried out by Clearly a competent technical officer. It does seem to be articulating its fears in real time, and it seems to be scared of everything. Fears, dirt, allergic reaction to cleaning chemicals, absence of dirt, resulting in loss of existential purpose, darkness. We can't do anything about the darkness. Response to fears, stimulus number 42248, attack it. You want us to attack the darkness? 
Yes, please. Hey, darkness, you don't have the clearance to be here. There, it won't be bothering us again. I still perceive darkness. Report darkness to internal security. New here. Malfunctioning visual sensors. Well, in that case, you should come back to R&D with us for a full check of your symptoms. Fear, dissection and experimental equipment testing. I'm sure they only want to check your diagnostics. Come along. We should call it Scrubby. This name is Experimental Scrub Bot 01. Serial number SB50221A. Scrubby for short. Can we keep it? You can ask R&D when we're done here. You're not Scrubby. You're coming home with me. Is it safe? Honestly, no, but it's safer than here. Okay, let's move. The network in Alpha Complex is robust, fast, and always working, and is and always working perfectly. However, there are locations where always means never. These are called dead zones. Security cameras do not work there, and your cortex con connection drops. This means you will not receive any infractions for treasonous deeds, and friend computer will not be monitoring your team's progress. Yes, that's a scary, horrible thought. It shows exactly why you need to avoid all the dead zones forever. To accidentally, and to prevent accidentally entering a dead zone, please pay attention to your core tech HUD. If the computer's all-seeing eye at the top of the center disappears, or you see a message saying connection lost, you're in a dead zone. Once you see Fred computer return to your H, your uh, HUD or your HUD, or a message saying reconnected, then you know your safety being remotely monitored once more. Troubleshooters are often thrust into unexpectedly into combat situations at the line of duty. For this reason, friend computer has allowed you to carry weapons and armor to protect, protect yourself and allies. Combat is generally played out in real time, but there is one caveat to this active pause. By using space and entering active pause, team leaders are able to halt the flow of time indefinitely, allowing them to better strategize and execute an attack movement or attack and movement orders. For more information on active pause, Please see the Alphapedia article related to active pause. Okay, so I guess we're going to. Oops, yeah. Sure, what's more unsettling the fact that the bot went crazy and attacked us, or like some wild sin jacked up on too much smash, or that it was screaming something called lightning bolt. What's a lightning bolt? Could be some sort of experimental weapon RD neglected to tell us when they briefed us on the scrub bot here. If it was, remind me to tell them it's not too efficient. Why do you think it attacked us? How should I jump? Why don't we ask the happiness officer? Frequently, he spinks with fluent bot. That I do. Scrubby, why did that bot attack us? Bots attack maintenance crews sorting Scrubby. That meant Scrubby could decontaminate lower basement levels of a large large scale bouncy bubble beverage village. Is that what the sticky gunk on the ground is? Uh huh, and it tastes good. Scrubby likes bouncy bubbly be beverage. Scrubby wants more bouncy bubbly beverage. Scrubby wants it all. That stuff is anywhere. You know how hard it is to get it out of your uniform? What's the name of, what in the names of friend computers going on here? Here, movement inhibitor activated due to overabundance of environmental and mechanical based errors and maintenance levels, and the possibility of more lightning bolts. We actually need to get the scrub bot back to R&D team for 
deep system diagnostic check and a possible chassis disassemble. No disassemble! No disassemble! Don't say those words around him, man. He's scared. Can't you see that? We need to get him and us out of this freaky place. It's messing with my head. What's happening between you and that scrub bot? Didn't you hear what the tech guy said? Me and Scrubby are connected. We're like two clones in a cloning pod. happened in here? This had to be there for traitors. Look at all those hygiene violations. Fear, destruction by high intensity lasers. Those turrets are targeting us. The system, security system is malfunctioning. Protect that scrub bot from those turrets, troubleshooters. all kinds of problems down here if we want. Threat detected. Please terminate threat to spoon waste removal. Go. 
What's this? Scrap. Looks like I should be able to loot this guy. Bring him up here. Now, really, it looks like there it goes. Okay, so. Sabotage everything. At least he didn't sabotage, right, Scrubby? Right, Scrubby? I think I have an idea, but I'll need a vending machine. Beer, isolation, withdrawal from bouncy bubble, bouncy bubble beverage. Beer machine, you can't get withdrawal. Bouncy bubble beverage, the only officially sanctioned beverage to quit your thirst in Alpha Complex. Lightning appears to have been tampered with. Strange lamps have been mounted on the walls that give off a red dim hue. Drawn by hand on each one's depiction of a chemical reaction called fire. What fiendish purpose lies beyond these high illegal modifications I want you to guess at. Okay. She needs to go over here. Two is gonna hang out here. Back in this office is gonna hang out here. I 
on the vending machine. Now what? You can use Dinobot to access the system network through the maintenance function of the vending machine. Wouldn't that be considered reason? Technically, for you, yes, but maintenance and text officers do have the required authorization to access the function. Why don't you just tag it for me? Uh oh, so I'm gonna have to. Recyclers offer you an easy way to break down unwanted items into materials and smoosh those materials together to create new items. There are many different recipes for items available in the recycler, food and pills, beverage and pills, weapons and pills, all kinds of stuff. Warning, do not put your arms, legs and inside the recycler. Do not put research and development items in the recycler or do not put radio, radioactive goo into the inside the recycler. Okay. Using the maintenance access to have a vending machine allows you to spend nanobots in order to attempt to hack the vending machine. Warning, maintenance access should be used for special purposes only and only by authorized personnel. Once you've entered the hacking interface, a series of letters will scroll downwards toward highlighted boxes in the middle of the screen. Successfully selecting the letters as they cross the highlighted boxes will cause them to be locked in. Getting all the letters locked in results in a successful hack. This is very secure best of the vegetation. With vending machines because it's very difficult beyond the mental processing of your average citizen. Once the vending machine has been hacked, its security has been compromised and it may allow you to hire clearance goods, weapon barrels, or the network itself where you can view cameras, open doors, and activate or deactivate turrets. If you run out of that, nanobots more can be crafted using the recycler. Pretty 
go. Ah, oh, there it is. Too bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I've restored it. Oh, what's going on with this grub bot? Scrubby. Oh, scrubby. Maybe I got too far away from it.
Okay, what's wrong with Scrubby? Oh, it's grubby. There we go. Oops. So, still following the scrub bot. More sticky, yummy stuff. Lots more sticky, yummy stuff. Scrubby wants it. Scrubby wants it all. Yum, yum, yum. I'm not even going to attempt to order that scrub bot back here. I think we finally lost it. Lost it to its nauseous obsession with bouncy bubble beverage. R&D may need to consider a recall. Schedule cloning. Ah. Oh.
Uh, this is what happens when you screw up. Or you die. again. Connected to print computer. So unfortunately, you don't automatically get. back. It's sort of like um, CA Heroes. Whenever you got uh, wasted, you have to, you know, you go to the hospital or yeah, we thought we'd been here before. Red computer is always watching. Did we all get wasted?
yeah, there we go. Let's follow that. Carnage. Good. Yeah, first time, not bad. out. If I make a mistake, I think I did.
gummy, bouncy, bubbly, bubbly, slurp, slurp. Scrub up has a seriously bouncy bubble dependency problem. They're up so fast, don't they? Citizens, I call to you for help. I am in dire need. I think there's someone trapped in that room. Citizens, I need your help, please. Hail to thee, victorious adventurer. Through long toil and many are perils, you have come to the end of yon dungeon. Worthy, um, thee, thou. Wait, you're not part of the fellowship. You're mundane. This is awkward. What are you talking about? The dungeon, the monsters, just outside? You mean the basement, the malfunctioning bots? Don't break the illusion. Call me Frodo. I have been apprenticed imprisoned in this dungeon by monsters for days. No, they're not really monsters, right? Depends on how you find reality, doesn't it? Because in the game, they're monsters. I define reality as an actually in reality. Oh, are you really happy then? Or, moving on, you mentioned a game? The great game of fellowship. Lo, it is how things must be. Monsters shall ye slay, quests shall ye accomplish, and levels shall ye grind. Sounds like a treasonous secret society. I say thee nay, it's not treasonous at all. It is but harmless fun, or is it? That sounds suspicious. Are you sure it's not a secret society? Is this a secret society? Have you really slain many monsters through your path through the dungeon? No, they're bots. You're pretending to monsters. But, uh, well, if we're pretending, we're not really doing anything treasonous, right? It's just a harmless disability. But what about all the damaged bots? That's damaged computer property. Or we reprogrammed for the game. We made them more aggressive to make the game more immersive. But they got too immersive. They killed all those citizens. Death is total immersion, total commitment to the game. They're playing dead. That's why I hid in here, to escape the monsters. What about the bouncy bubbly beverage? Oh, that's for the Feast of the Dead. It's a big ceremony to celebrate those of the fellowship of prayers to the past yesterday, yesterday, last year cycle. Unfortunately, everyone else who was going to attend got killed outside, so we'll have to do a bigger celebration next year. And you shall join us. What? You triumphed over the dungeon, you slew the monsters, I sent you have a great destiny, possibly involving a prophecy and a mysterious past. Join us. Join the fellowship. You're clearly insane. I want to join you. You must. The quest calls you. You cannot refuse. Oh, no. What does the fellowship actually do? We have a great quest to overthrow the all-seeing eye, the dark lord who opposes us. That sounds awfully familiar. I don't know if you're crazy or a traitor or a crazy traitor, but anyway, the answer is no. Then you shall die, mon monster. Or lightning bolt. There are definitely no secret societies operating within Alpha Complex, right under the nose of print computer and internal security. Internal security. There is no way, shape, or form. These in no way, shape, or form will allow you to take part in extracurricular activities, where you shall be rewarded. They definitely do not allow you to make new friends or have any sort of fun. Most importantly, they do not plot the downfall of Alpha Complex and the destruction of an all-seeing, all-knowing supercomputer. Secret societies are treasonous. Being in a secret society is treasonous. Thinking about them is treasonous. So stop it right now.
Okay, so we're gonna go back and uh, see what happened. Welcome to debriefing. Report any and all treasonous events that occurred during your assignment. Accusations of fellow officers will be done once an account of the mission has been compiled. That is correct, troubleshooter. Alpha Complex is perfect. I am perfect. Traitors are imperfect and must be expunged. Proceeding with debriefing. Team leader, have you observed any treasonous activity among your officers that you wish to report? Troubleshooter, do you have anything to report about the mission? Correct, all hail, me. Moving on. Troubleshooter, do you have anything to report about the mission? Correct, all hail, me. Moving on. Troubleshooter, do you have anything to report about the mission? Correct, all hail, me. Moving on. This concludes your debriefing, citizen. Please report to R&D immediately. Uh, this is not gonna be good. percent treason. Wonder how you get uh Troubleshooters, welcome back. How did things go with the payload work down there in the basement? It's got a serious problems with bouncy bubble beverage. What do you mean? It's addicted. You might need to wean it off the stuff. How can a scratchbot develop a dependency on bouncy bubble beverage troubleshooter? You know, I asked myself that very same question the whole time we were down there with it. Come to think of it, I asked myself an awful lot of questions while we were down there. And? And what? Never mind, troubleshooter. Never mind. Go to bed. Okay. And we will end this mission when we go to bed. Almost gonna have to draw a map of this. Oh, wait, oops. Secret stash, I guess. All right. Well, this is the end of uh, our first mission. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had. It uh, took me back to 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I hope you enjoyed this mission. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Bye.